Oyagala mukuru ku gwenja olugobere ne bijukize mu nyumba yo. Kankwa njulire Backing Montage Photo Studio. Fiba kafuru mukube bifananyi. No call of video. Oli na wedding, birthday party, kuchala, nika, baby shower, photo shoot oba music shoot. Na buli kimu kyo nacho oyagala. Fetu subulu kuwe bijukize ebirungi. Ebi biroto byo. Ate no mwana watu kusintize omuntu wa buli jo. Tusange bonna nkula bikubitala ku Prime Tower, Level 3, Room D04. Okumanya bisingawo. Tukubire ku namba zino. Note musavu note biri, emu note nya, emu biri tano. Oba, noti musavu tano tano, satu emu emu, musavu satu emu, oba, noti musavu musavu musavu, noti bili satu, nya noti tano. King Montage Photo Studio, fitu sobolo kuwe bijukize bironji, atenu mwana watu kusinti izo mtu waburi jo. Hello friends, welcome back to Love Media where we spread love. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today we gonna look at the top richest politicians in Uganda and we gonna look at Rebecca Kadaga. Another old and wealthy politician in the political system of Uganda is Rebecca Kadaga. Rebecca is also the richest female politician in the country. Currently, she is the Speaker of Parliament and also the MP representing Kamulai Woman. She has been in the political system since 1989. Even though most of her investments are hidden, she is known for having numerous investments in hotels. In fact, almost all posh hotels in eastern Uganda belong to her. She commissioned the Century Hotel valued at SHS 3BN in Kamulai District in 2014. Additionally, she is considered as one of the powerful women in the country. Also, she is known to be the voice of the numerous women in the country. Rebecca Ulitwala Kadaga is a Ugandan lawyer and politician who served as the Speaker of the Parliament of Uganda from May 19, 2011 until May 21, 2021. She currently serves as the first Deputy Prime Minister of Uganda. She concurrently serves as Minister for East African Community Affairs, in the Cabinet of Uganda 1. She is the first woman to be elected Speaker in the history of the Parliament of Uganda. She succeeded Edward Sikandi, who served as Speaker from 2001 to 2011 3 She is also the current Member of Parliament, MP, for the Kamulai District Women's Constituency, Buzaga Subregion, a position she has held since 1989-45. She was born in Kamulai District, Eastern Uganda, on May 24, 1956. Rebecca Kadaga attended Namasagali College for her high school education. She studied law at Makerere University, graduating with the degree of Bachelor of Laws, LLB, in 1978. She went on to obtain a diploma in legal practice from the Law Development Center in Kampala in 1979. In 2000, she obtained a diploma in women's law from the University of Zimbabwe. In 2003, she obtained the degree of Master of Arts, MA, specializing in women's law, also from the University of Zimbabwe 6 in 2019, Gumba University, a private university in Uganda, awarded Kadaga an honorary Doctor of Laws degree 7. Work Experience Between 1984 and 1988, she was in private law practice. From 1989 to 1996, she served as the Member of Parliament for Kamulai District in the District Woman's Constituency. She served as the Chairperson of the University Council from Barrera University, between 1993 and 1996. During 1996, she served as Secretary General of the East African Women Parliamentarians Association. From 1996 to 1998, Rebecca Kadaga was the Ugandan Minister of State for Regional Cooperation, Africa and the Middle East. She then served as Minister of State for Communication and Aviation from 1998 to 1999 and as Minister for Parliamentary Affairs from 1999 to 2000. She was elected as Deputy Speaker of Parliament in 2001, a position that she held until May 19, 2011, when she was elected Speaker of Parliament 8. Following the February 2016 general election, Kadaga was unanimously re-elected as Speaker of Parliament on 19 May 2016-9. On December 20, 2017, Kadaga presided over the Ugandan Parliament while passing an amendment to the Constitution which, 
among other measures, eliminated the requirement that candidates vying for the presidency be under 75 years of age. The amendment essentially gave Museveni leeway to run for president of Uganda for his sixth term in office 10. On January 14, 2021, Kadaga was re-elected to parliament as a woman representative for Kamulai district. Consequently, she embarked on a campaign to retain her position as Speaker of Parliament for a third term. Kadaga lost the Speaker vote to her former deputy Jacob Alanya after falling out of favour with her party, the National Resistance Movement, NRM, 11. Parliamentary Duties Besides her duties as Speaker of the Ugandan Parliament, she sits on the following parliamentary committees. Appointments Committee the committee reviews all cabinet appointments by the president, and may approve or reject an appointment, the speaker chairs the committee. The parliamentary commission, the speaker chairs the commission. The business committee, the speaker chairs the committee. Controversy. Kadaga vowed to pass the Uganda anti-homosexuality bill through parliament by December 2012. The bill, sometimes referred to as the Kill the Gays bill, at one time sought to make acts of homosexuality punishable by death or life imprisonment but later removed the death penalty option from the bill. She says it will become law since most Ugandans are demanding it.12. In December 2012, Kadaga was in Rome to give a speech at the seventh session of the Consultative Assembly of Parliamentarians for the International Criminal Court and the Rule of Law 1314. Reports circulated that Kadaga received a blessing from Pope Benedict XVI at a Vatican Mass 15 soon after the news broke, Vatican spokesman Father Federico Lombardi issued a statement that said, relations with the delegation were not out of the ordinary and no blessing was given. The group of Ugandan MPs greeted the Pope just like any other individuals attending an audience with the Pope would and this was by no means a specific sign of approval of Kadaga's actions or proposals. 16. In March 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, Kadaga tweeted that a spray, which instantly kills the coronavirus, has been discovered and is to be co-produced in Uganda.17 She 18 gave an impression that what was later on to be understood as a simple sanitizer was actually treatment for COVID-19 and received so much backlash from Ugandans on social media and professional bodies in the medical field like the Uganda Medical Association 19 and the Pharmaceutical Society of Uganda. She hit back by calling the people of the association brainless 20. In April 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, Kadaga and her fellow members of parliament allocated to themselves over 10 billion Uganda shillings of what was meant to be relief funds for efforts to fight against the pandemic and its associated socio-economic disruptions 21. Thanks for watching Love Media. Oyagala mukuru ku gwenja olugo bere ne bijukize mu nyumba yo kan kwanjulire backing montage photo studio fiba kafuru mukku be bifananyi nokola video olina wedding birthday party kuchala nika baby shower photoshoot oba music shoot nabuli kimu kyo nacho oyagala fetu subolo ku bijukize bironji eri ebiroto byo ati no mwana watu kusintize omuntu wabuli jo tusange bonna nkula bikubitala ku prime tower level 3 room d04 okumanya bisingawo tukubira ku namba zino note musavu note 2 emu note nya emu 2 Oba, noti musavu tanu tanu, satu emu emu, musavu satu emu, oba, noti musavu musavu musavu, noti bili satu, inya noti tanu. King Montage Photo Studio, fitu sabulo kuwe bijukize bironji, atinu mwana watu kusinti zomu tuwabuli joe.